Hi guys, welcome back again to my channel. Thank you so much for finding time once again. Karibuni sana. If you are a subscriber, do like, share and comment down below. If you need me to do another video or any video about Mtumbag, I'll gladly do it. Comment on the comment section. And if you have watched me from TikTok and you're here, welcome. We hope to keep you as part of this. And also, thank you so much, Nigeria. I've been getting your calls, your WhatsApp. Thank you so much. May God bless you for your support. I know it's quite expensive to... Uh, you know, transport one bell from here to there. But those people, maybe in the new, near future, I pray that God helps you so that you can purchase uh, in, I can say, in a wholesale way so that it can be much cheaper. But hey, we are going to help each other in terms of ideas, advice. I'm also going to be here and tell others to subscribe and join us on board. So today, I wanted to talk about people you need to avoid in your businesses. I feel that some of you, you feel that you need to keep these people in your business because one, you are afraid you're going to lose your friendship. Two, you're going to lose also them as clients. But remember, in any business, you have to make sacrifice. Make a sacrifice because if you don't do that, you're going to go down. And let me tell you, 99% of, of the things that make uh, our businesses to go down, it is friends. Friends can make your business go bankrupt. I've said, and when I said, uh, how many times have you failed? I had mentioned such things that people will be like, you're giving debts, you know, things like that. So today, I'm going to try and uh, translate the Swahili words in English. So bear with me because it really, really makes sense in Swahili. But I'm also trying, I'm going to try to explain uh, so that uh, most of our viewers who are not here, they can also understand. So, kuna wala watu wana, wana, wana Unaona tunaweka kwa bracket. Si unanijua. So you have a friend because he or she knows you. Anakuja na hiyo hiyo perception kwa kichwa IV ananijua. Ama so and so ananijua. You guys. Those people come, they shop. In fact, they are the people who always come ukifungua mzigo. I'm not criticizing anyone, but I'm also trying to help you because for me I've seen this type of challenges. I said, if you have people who come to your shop to purchase bills from you, make sure they give you deposit. And also, make sure they, you, you give them the, the, the amount of time to pay the remaining balance. Usiache mtu akupatie deposit, aende akai one month anakuja na lipa yungine. Please, such incidences how I handle. I'll sell those pieces. It's either you come and pick something else because you have you, you have overstayed so if you don't have these principles in your business it's going to go down for you so hawa watu nakuja wanachagua nguo wanachagua nguo unawapatia price but sasa since unasema si unanijua so hiyo si unanijua it means anataka since unamjua umpatia ende nazo atakutumia pesa vile anataka please don't allow that don't allow that even if it is your friend Family, kwanza the worst people are your family members because around wanakujua kabisa. Because they'll just assume, ah, this is my sister, this is my cousin. So there's nowhere he or she is going to take me. But you don't know, in business, we don't have relations. Relations eka kando because you're using their money. When you go down, those are the first people who are going to complain. Oh, alikuwa hivi, alikuwa hivi. Make sure you put your principles right. That will help you while you're opening bills and also supplying in the future. Then, niweke hi mtakujia. Hmm? Niweke hi mtakujia. So this type of people, they come, pick, but they don't pay anything. Mm -mm. They don't pay anything. Well, pia tuna akilizako, you take it, keep, without deposit. How do you expect to purchase or maybe buy another bill? How do you expect to recover the capital and get another bill? Uneke mtu nguo, haina deposit. What do you expect? So you're taking this clothes that this person has already uh, selected and uh, confidently he or she says, put this for me. I will come back for them. With what? Naeka kando na nini? Umenipea pesa kiasi gani? Donyeke kando. And I said, kama nguo amenunua elfu mbili, wacha akupatia half of that of that 2,000. Akupatia 1K baki 1K. Now that 1,000 also give a duration that that person is supposed to pay. Don't be confident because this person has already given you deposit at 2 Please, 
don't do that strive to be principled in your business that is how people will be like sababu for me i think there are some there are sometimes um there are some things also i implemented na zikatufanya tukakosana na one of some of my customers also but they came back because they have to understand that is my business you know i'm not i'm not on payroll that is where i expect to be paid at the end of the month that is where i expect to buy my things that is where i expect to restock so if i play i'm also going to go home and remember these are the first people who are going to talk alishindwa na biashara so if you don't want to be one of those people you have to be very principled in your business then um kuna wala watu wa you have maybe the incidences mtu labda alikuwa town uh for example same for ladies they they mess their clothes and they maybe they know where they can get you know you know where where they can get clothes so we expect these people they know that is where clothes are sold so they need to to to, to come and pay cash so don't do this there are people who come they change and they leave those clothes there and enda na ile ngwenye amenunua so yani ni kama hizi ngozi nyame wacha inafai kuonyesha atarudi kulipa please don't allow that This is just like any normal person who comes to buy a cloth in your shop or clothes in your shop. Alipe ndio avai because ako na emergency. Ama kuna mtu labda maybe ngwe liraruka, akakumbuka kuna mali anafa, maybe anajua pana uzonguo. But that person has to come and buy first before you know, before wearing that cloth. Or maybe mvua imekupata nje, umenyeshewa hauna jacket. But unajua ama maybe for example ume, umenyeshewa or maybe ulikuwa naenda job, you know, unajua maybe kwa Ivy anauza tops. Then you come there, you exchange the one you, that you had and you, you wear this other one that you have found in my shop and you go with that pay. Please don't allow those type of people. And in fact that is so bad. Why do you keep your clothes there and wear somebody's clothes in your nauza na umlipi na unaenda? Please don't do that. For me I'm t- I'm telling you these things I've seen at my shop and this is these are things that also messed me up because for example when I said I was at that time I was afraid I'm going to lose my customers I'm going to lose the friendship but trust me those friendships are not going to help you they're not going to help you to balance your bills they're not going to, to help you balance your, your your expenses you have to you have to be strict so okay For example, you find these people who come, they pay half. For example, they've bought clothes of around 3000 and they have uh, they've paid maybe let's say um 2800. So the balance is 200. So they say, let me just carry them I'll send the remaining balance. If you don't know this person, because for me, there are people I can allow because they are faithful. Somebody can just carry those clothes and immediately to you receive the money in your till na nakupigia nimekutumia but there are these people who they will just go with those clothes and they are not going to pay utawafuta na simu trust me iko imebaki 50 bob iko imebaki 10 bob that is your profit and remember kwala tunye tunafanya mtumba you know how much 50 bob even 20 bob is important in our business so if you let this person go na na umujui and remember this person has not even shown that he or she is faithful aende kufuata because i know let me i have seen it mimi nimeona it is quite easy somebody to pay your money when those clothes are at the shop but the moment they leave the shop you are on the danger zone my friend yo utadai hata sasa zingine mtakosana so make sure stay on your principles ambe tu mtu ukweli wacha tu wande deni mebaki utakuja ubebe ama wacha nguo yenyewe inabaki na hii pesa ndio ukujie because if you if you if you just give that person that cloth and deny utalaumu nani baadaye that is where you find people ukiwa dai ama ukiwapigia simu wanakasirika so to avoid that wacha tu ikae hapo kama jamaliza ama wache nguo yenyewe inatoshana na hiyo pesa period then people who pay deposits and disappear hey mimi kwanza hao ndio wana yani there are people who <laughs> And there are people me as you to mumbuaji wengine i'm not criticizing but these things when they up, they, they happen in your business i think you can relate to some of us somebody comes ukweli tu tumeambiana umekuja mmwambia customer zako hey lazima wake lazima uache deposit ndio fanya nini ndio wekewe nguo sawa hata acha deposit but ndio akuje amalize hiyo deposit aende i'm telling you labda tumempatia timeline my friend if you have such people please abia tu mtu kweli kama amefanya hivyo mara ya kwanza na akakuja akalipa but amechelewa akirudi tena mwambie ukikaa zaidi ya siku fulani utapata ingua it's rather ni kurudishie pesa yako 
ama kuja chaguo mwingine so also just je push na watu make sure you just keep your principles right then one thing to avoid also in your business my friends this has happened i know some of you follow me on uh, you see my status so there are incidences that you find people are maybe closer to you and they like your place that is where they come you know they are there they are just your clients but don't allow too much idlers in your shop I'm not criticizing anyone and or I'm not talking ill about anything because let me tell you when somebody or two of, two or three people sit down at your shop what do you expect are they talking about mtumba no they'll be talking about somebody else or something else and when somebody hears because you never know walls have ears then then it's an issue about some something or somebody they'll quickly say i had it from this place So your place will be named as the gossip center. So please avoid idlers. If somebody is coming to buy, let them buy. If they are coming to say hi, let them say hi. Naishi hapo, they go. But if you entertain this these issues or this you know, these agendas that we're talking about here, you're going to have a bad reputation and trust me, you're going to lose your clients. You're going to lose your clients. You're going to have bad relation with others. For example, if these people are talking about somebody else, and they, somebody else also hears that they were talking about somebody else in your shop, it will, you know, it will just circulate like that. I had it from Ivy's. I, I, I had it from Ivy's place. It was this and this they were saying. So people will even hate you, and you're not part of that conversation. So I hope that these things you put them and stick them in your shop. or in your business because it's going to help you. This type of people by the way they're the killers of our businesses. So if you're not firm, if you're not firm my dears, you're going to go down. Please don't be afraid to amend your uh, your you know, amend your principles if they are they are they are broken. Because I'm telling you, don't be also afraid to shed off some friends. If it will do good if it will do good for your business, please do it. Because some of these friends are the people who are making your business go down. you know so please just just be cautious be cautious because me i've seen and i i have a very small cycle by the way there is not let me tell you if you are, if you are growing and you have friends real friends thank god but i'm so sure that there are some friends also in that group that don't wish you well because trust me also i i shall tell you guys be careful who you share good news with because not everybody will be happy that you are thinking ahead of them Not everybody has that capacity that you have to think about business in this direction. Maybe they have tried and they have fallen and they are, they are seen you have a, what they call it you have a, you have the cap- capability you know you are a daring person that you're going to do to do that maybe business. So they are going to do some things there urajipata you're not even doing those things. So please I hope that you also you know it's better to be you know just have a small cycle that you can relate with. And also in that small cycle be also careful what you say around them. So I think um I've said enough but if you have ears please listen. Thank you so much. Keep on subscribing. I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.